All right, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. I think we can uh, get the idea of what a radicand is very quickly. So first thing to go through, um, a radical is comprised of two points. One, or not two, two points, but two parts. One is what we call the radical symbol. The next part is what we call the radicand, which means the number inside the radicand. So if here the square root means I'm going to take the square root of my radicand 9, meaning what number multiplied by itself equals 9. So the answer for this is 3. Our radicand could also be in the center of a cube or the cube root. So here, if I was going to ask you, what is the cube root? 64, again, is going to be my radicand. And this answer is equal to 4. Now, what about if I make something kind of crazy up? And let's just kind of go back to the square root. But let's say I give you 3x squared y. Now, I don't need to go through a whole tutorial on how to solve these, but you can see that the radicand, OK, is it's still just going to be 3x squared y. It's everything that's under inside of your square root. Now to solve this, for those of you that are kind of curious, I can't take the square root of 3, nor can I take the square root of y, but the square root of x squared is just x square root of 3y. And I have videos, um, obviously, on that showing you how to do that. But the main important thing is just want to understand what the radicand is for each one of these problems. And that's all it really is. It's just the number under your square root symbol, or your, your radical symbol. It doesn't matter if it's a square root, cube root, fourth root, doesn't matter. That's always going to be your radicand.